Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. I'd like to show you a really fascinating tool in this program for making a navigation or a great way to display your content. It's one of the jQuery user interface tools in 90 Second Website Builder. In the toolbox, there's a whole set of jQuery tools. And the one I want to work with is this tool called the jQuery Tabs. Now to use it, I just need to grab it and bring it out onto the canvas. I'm going to move my website down right here because I'm going to put a jQuery tabs right out here in this area. So I'm grabbing the tool and I'm just like everything else just going to kind of drag and stretch it here onto the canvas. Now this particular look is called a theme, this sort of black area with the blue background here. And I can use that theme or I can change the theme to a different look. Now jQuery themes are stored in the page properties because when you're using a jQuery object the theme applies to every jQuery object on this page so that everything looks nice and uniform so in other words this is also a jQuery object up here and you'll notice it's the same theme but we're going to change the theme just so you can see how it's done and that's done in the page property so I right click out on a blank area of the canvas go to page properties and style and here's the theme. So this theme will apply to all of the jQuery objects on this particular page. So dot love is the one that's on there now. Let's find a good one here. Here's a good one called smoothness. Yeah, it's just it's kind of a plain one, but we'll use that for our demo. So it's just kind of a, a white and gray. You'll notice though that the theme changed for this jQuery object as well up here. So anyway, you want to find the theme or the look that you like. So I'll just use this one for now. In this white area out here is where I'm going to put all of my content. I can put images, text, links, even video out here into these into this content area. And then each of these tabs represents a different category or section. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more categories and I'm going to edit these. So to do that, I double click on the jQuery tabs object. And you can see it starts me with these two. I'm going to change these to different headings. So I can just simply click on these, click edit, and change the name. And of course I can make a number of these just for the sake of this video. I'll just add one more just to save time. But of course you can see I could add several more. And I can put them in whatever order I want. So if I wanted this one to be the first tab, I could move that up and I can move things down just by selecting them. Let's start with that. I'm going to click OK. And there you can see the tabs that I made. Now I've got three different content areas, three places I can store different content. In this tab, I want to put a text object. Now I've pre-written some text, again, just to save time. I pre-wrote this text and put it in a text object over here. And I'm dragging it into the tabbed area. Now you'll notice something really important here. When I drag this text object in, look at the blue highlight around the text area. See how it lit up blue on the edges there? That's because it's telling me I'm placing this text object inside the jQuery object. And when I successfully do that, that blue highlight appears. Now I'm going to let go and show you what I mean. If I were to move this, you can see it's part of the tab object. But if I don't get that blue highlight while I'm moving this in, if this doesn't highlight, it means I have not yet successfully moved this in, see? Now this happens to be behind the object, so let me bring it to the front so you can see what I mean. This object is not yet inside, so I'm not getting the blue highlight. If I was to try and move this around, see they're not married yet. But if I was to move this inside, there I get the blue highlight. Now I know I have successfully placed it. Same thing is true for images. Put an image there, or I can put uh, links and buttons. So here's a button that I can turn into a link and there you go. Simple to do. Now if I go to this tab, this one's blank. So I can put other images and stuff in here. So let me go grab an image that I have. See how it highlighted when I grabbed this. It means I've successfully moved this object into this content area. Same thing is true for text. And so now I've put some text and image here and again I can work with this text and stretch it around the way I want to stretch it and I can make links in this text whatever kind of object you want to put in here you can and then here's my third tab and again I can put more objects in here let's just do that just for fun put another picture here 
and one here. Okay, I think you get the idea. The idea is that I can put content in all of these. Now, let's play around with the look of this jQuery tab. If I double click on it, it opens up the jQuery tabs property where I can change the style. This is where I could change the font for the tab categories. So if I wanted that to be, let's change it to Bookman 12, just so you can see the difference. And I can even make it bold. Then you can see that the font changes in the tabs. Let's go back. I double click, going back to style. Here's another thing I can do. I can move the tabs from the top of the um, object to the bottom, have them display on the bottom. If I do this, now the tabs will be down here. Isn't that great? Okay, so now let's double click and change it back to the top. And let's test this. So far, we're still in the design mode. But as you know, you can click F5 to look at it in preview mode to see what it looks like in a web browser. So let's do that just to check it out. Okay, so here's my tab object. And as you can see, it works great just as I tab through. Well, let's go back and apply some of those nifty styles. For example, here's a great one. Fade and collapsible. I'll show you what those do. Okay, we're going to F5 again so we can preview. Because we chose the fade effect, you're going to see a real nice transition when we click on a tab. It fades nicely. I like that one. I'll keep that. And the collapsible means that when I click on a menu item and then click on it again, it closes up. Click on it again, it opens. Opens, click it again, it closes up. This would save a lot of space. And yes, you could put objects or text behind this and expose that information when somebody used the collapsible button. So as you can see, so as you can see, it's really an easy tool to work with. And it's a fantastic thing to use on your website for saving space and still getting a lot of content on your site without overwhelming your visitor. It's just another one of these great tools that you'll find in 90 Second Website Builder.